This is something I really grapple with. In the beginning, I viewed myself as like the chaos eater. It's my job to absorb all of the chaos, all of the risk. And what I projected back to my team was a way cushier. I didn't want them to take on the risk that I'd taken on. I didn't want them to have the exposure. I didn't want them to get burned by the same flames. So what does that mean in practical terms? It means that I gave out almost no equity. I paid everyone market rate or higher. Like a lot of startups are like, hey, you're worth a hundred grand a year. I'm going to pay you 55 grand a year and you're going to get 3% of my company and we're going to the moon. Are you with me or not? And I was too insecure and too scared to ask that of someone else. I just didn't want, I didn't want to disappoint them. So I just said, I'll just pay the hundred grand and I'll give you 0.25% of my company. Like you're worth a hundred can or you're worth 110 because if this fails, I want you to have a little buffer in, in your bank account so you can find another job. Like, I just don't want you to, I don't want you to go without, you know? And it's, it wasn't cause I'm a nice guy. It was cause I was scared. Um, and I didn't, I didn't want to be judged, you know? Um, but a, a big learning for me, Ella, I think this goes for friendships, romantic relationships, letting someone share in the chaos with you, letting, you know, sitting next to someone in chaos, like you can't sit next to everyone in chaos. And you learn this in romantic relationships and friendships uh, and in business. Sometimes you sit next to someone in a chaotic circumstance and you realize that they're really not your ally or that they're not, they're not bringing you peace or you're not bringing them peace or somehow you the situation is made worse by each other's company. And then the special people you sit next to and they make you feel calmer in the chaos. Um, you feel better for them being there. Um, and they feel better for being there too. So what I've learned is like the people that remained at the company were the people that actually wanted the chaos, that wanted a piece of it and to share and to sort of proverbially hold my hand and vice versa, like for us to be there for each other.